Welcome to Brown Girl Book Blog Foodie Beauty. Today I am coming to you with a book review by Michelle Andrea Bowen. Well, not so much a book review, but maybe a book slash author review. She is probably in my top 10 favorite authors to read because when I read her books, I know exactly what I'm going to get. I'm going to get some humor. I'm going to get a few Bible verses. I'm going to get a nice love story. I'm going to get some funny fiction and I'm going to get some laugh out loud moments from her books. And by the time you finish her book, you just feel like you have watched, well not watched, have read a great novel and you really enjoyed it and she everything comes full circle. I just currently finished reading Pastor Needs a Boo by Michelle Andrea Bowen and it is a good story. It starts off super funny in the first probably 30 pages and it's funny all throughout but the first 30 pages were just really hilarious. Sad too but there were some very um, funny moments. Um, and then it gets a little slow between page 75 and 1 and 200, but from 200 to 390, oh, you just have to sit back and enjoy the read. But I just finished that one. It's a great story. I don't want to give too much away, but I think you will enjoy it. Um, I'm reading for a second time, second Sunday. As you can see, the book... Um, is a little bit worn out because of, again this is my second time reading this book I have really enjoyed um, the books that I've read by her in the past other books that I've read by her include Holy Ghost Corner and Church Folks which Church Folks was her first novel then um, Second Sunday is the best second one to read then you'll re want to read her other books such as Pastor Needs the Boo and more Church Folks I must say that one of the things I love about this author is she always gives you good morals and when you're reading her books, she's a fiction writer. She just captures the relationship of people in the church so well. And of course, with any relationship, there are ups, there are downs, there are moments that you fall out, moments that you come back together again. But I just love how she captures um the beauty and the realness of church and fellowship and relationships. Um, what I also like about her books is that she does um, intertwine a love story in each of her books. And she's not a romance author, but when she writes the parts about the romance in her books, it is done in such a beautiful and classy way. Um, she just captures the dignity and the beauty of marriage and how God presented marriage as a gift for people. And she just really captures the beauty of that. And she's by no means a romance author, but she can tell a romance story to me um, in such a dignified way that it's just done better to me than any of the famous romance authors that you might be thinking of. Just because she does so, and she really captures the dignity and the integrity and the beauty of falling in love and marriage. But again, she's a fiction author and she's going to give you humor when you read her books you're going to get a moral you're going to get some bible verses for you to think on and reflect in your personal life and you're going to get a good story you're going to get your laugh out loud moments so i highly recommend this author and um one of her books more church folks right here um, is where I actually had the opportunity to meet her at a book signing. And at the book signing, she signed my book. And she wrote to me. I covered my name just because I don't really like releasing a whole lot on social media. But I do like promoting authors. Um, she signed Michelle Andrea Bowen. Of course, that was August 7, 2010. So that was the year that I actually had the opportunity to meet her at a book signing. She was so sweet and kind and um, funny and down to earth. So her books really probably capture her personality. Um, she tells a great story. So I would definitely recommend you all checking out this author. Be sure to like and subscribe this video. And then note to me, 
um, some of your favorite authors that I might want to check out as well. I think there are so many authors that don't get their due in um, the book world. We always know of the big famous ones or your big um, new novels that everyone knows about and makes the bestseller list. But sometimes it's good to know about authors that... Um, are underrated but excellent in their um, own rights. So I definitely recommend Michelle Andrea Bowen. Um, her, pick up her first book, Church Folks, then pick read Second Sunday, then any of her other books if you have an opportunity to do so. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video and be blessed.